We head into this newscast with not some very good news coming in from the United States. It was yet another day marked by gun violence in the U.S., this time in New Jersey, claiming the lives of four innocent people, including a policeman. It was around 12.30 p.m. local time on Tuesday when the gunmen arrived at a grocery store in a stolen truck. The police described their movements as rapid and continuous. First responders soon arrived at the scene and a shootout ensued. A total of six people lost their lives in the gunfight, including two gunmen. The two attackers managed to kill three civilians and one police detective before they were eventually neutralized. Two other officers were wounded in the exchange. The shootout went on for hours with hundreds of bullets reportedly being fired. As news of the gunfight spread, Jersey went into lockdown. All schools and businesses were shut and SWAT teams and security reinforcements descended on the active crime scene. The police are currently in possession of the truck used by the gunmen. They believe there could be an explosive device inside. The crime scene is very extensive and is at three locations at least. At this time, um, we have one stolen U-Haul ve uh, vehicle that may contain an incendiary device that has since been taken from the location and has been examined by our bomb squad members. Secondly, we have five people, DOA, inside the store that members of the police force that set up, uh, eventually we declared them DOA. We believe two of them are bad guys. The police say there is no evidence to indicate that the attack was terror-related. The slain officer, now identified as Detective Joseph Seals, was tasked with cleaning up illegal guns in Jersey. Reports indicate that he intercepted the two gunmen at a cemetery, and that is where the gunfight first broke out. President Donald Trump, meanwhile, expressed his condolences to the families of the victims. He said he was continuously monitoring the situation in New Jersey.